it's Mike Lewis at SwimSlam.com and one of the things that's often overlooked in open water swimming is the importance of a strong, powerful kick. In this segment, we're going to head on down to the pool and go over some drills that will help you develop the kick you need to be successful in your open water swimming. The kick can be a huge asset in the start and finish of an open water race. But did you know the kick can be key to helping you stay with the tempo changes that take place in the middle of a race as well? Using fins and a snorkel in your training program is a very good method for maintaining proper body alignment while developing a strong, powerful kick. Kicking without a kickboard can better engage the core in a manner that is similar to when you are swimming. Elite athletes really know how to harness the power of the kick. As athletes approach the finish of a race, they throttle up their kick and often the swimmer with the best kick can break away to the finish chute. In events that often come down to mere tenths of a second, the kick can be the deciding factor. One of my favorite drills to develop a powerful kick is the hug drill. Using fins, a snorkel, and paddles, you begin by pushing off the wall with your arms in the 10 and 2 o'clock positions and the paddles perpendicular to the surface. Hug the water. Kick with as much force as possible and after about 15 meters, bring your arms forward into the streamlined position and carry the intensity and increased velocity through the remainder of the lap. This drill increases the explosive power of the kick and also creates resistance in the chest, back, and shoulders that is good for your catch. Stay tuned to SwimSwam.com for all the trending news and information in the sport of swimming.